Welcome back to the Ivory Dress YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make this flowing altar neck dress with tie collar neckline. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. The tie can be as long as you want, depending on what you want. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So it's a simple night gown and for this I'm going to be using this fabric. It's an accordion chiffon fabric. It is factory pleated but the fabric is quite shaky so I'm going to be drafting on a pattern before transferring to the fabric. I'm going to draft it in form of an A line. You can also draft it as a straight pattern then when you are transferring to your fabric you can cut it anyhow you want. So you don't need so much measurement for this i'm going to just need put my shoulder measurement although we're not working with a shoulder here it's an altar neck so i'm working with a neck depth of a neck width of three inches and the neck depth of 1.25 for the back and then three for the front three or three point two five as well for the front I'm using this pattern to cut both front and back. That's why I'm cutting together. So this is my back neckline. And this is my front neckline. So after that, the next measurement you will need is your ham hole measurement. So here I have my ham hole line. And then I'm going to make it into a straight line. So there I'm going to input my bust measurement plus one inch seam allowance so you do your bust measurement divided by four plus one inch seam allowance so that's the measurement that i'm going to be working with there so normally if you're working with a regular body you come down by one inch here then you do your shoulder slope so that you can cut your ham hole but for this like i said it's an halter neck so from my neckline here, I'm just going to find a curved ruler. This ruler is short, okay? So you should use a longer ruler. And then we're going to connect from the tip of the neck all the way to the hand pole. So for this halter neck, there are several ways you can work with it. It's going to have a collar. You can see that mine is coming from my shoulder, from the tip of my shoulder. If they want it to come from the tip of your shoulder, it can come from any part of your neckline as well. So that is where you're going to be joining it. So let's say you want to come it come down a little bit. So you're going to come down by maybe one, two inches here, and then that is how you're going to connect. So this way, this part that is going to be left out will be occupied by your collar that you are putting. I hope you understand that. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing. What I'm trying to explain is that mine, I'm going to connect from my hand hold here to my neckline like this okay so you can see mine is starting from my starting point which is on my shoulder line if you don't want yours to be on your shoulder line maybe you want to come down a little bit so from there is where you're going to connect to your ham hole what this means is that remember all of this will be going off so this space now will be replaced by the color that you're going to be putting there i think i have something like that already on the channel so before you cut it out in case that is what you're working with you will need to mark measure out your neckline measurements okay for the back here i have three and a half inches thereabouts and then for the front i have around five and a half inches so you need to add the three and a half inches to your five and a half inches so one two three and a half that's 19 that's nine inches sorry that's nine inches and remember this is just a half scale bodies so you have to put it on full that's like 18 inches okay please take an accurate measurement i'm just doing a tentative measure if you want to measure a curved area you may need to bend your tape measure like this so whatever it is that you have there you have to keep it in mind so this is just 5.25 you have to keep it in mind because by the time you cut it out you may not be able to measure out your neckline again 
but for me we are working with a very simple one which means we are connecting from the neck point all the way to our our shoulder area here my my curve is is very small so i'm just trying to make sure that i make it work so anywhere i have like a bend i'm going to trace so this is the neckline that i am going for so the next measurement you're going to need is your full length measurement so this paper is 36 inches my full length is 40 but i want it to be short so i'm going to work with 38 so the extra two inches i'm going to add it when i when i finally have it on my fabric when i'm transferring to my fabric so this is the length you're working with the length of the paper so for the hem i'm going to work with my hip measurement the hip measurement i'm working with is 46 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half so like i said it's an hair line so that 11 and a half you can add five six or depending on how wide you want it to be so for my hip now I, 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 I have 16 inches here mark so now from my from my bust I'm going to just connect it in a diagonal way like this so we're going to cut this out now and then this is what we're going to use to cut our this is what we're going to use to cut our dress on our fabric so you can see what the pattern looks like by the time I cut it out we are going to understand this better so this is the side and you can also do this directly on your fabric like i said because of the type of fabric that i'm working with and here we are going to be cutting the back neckline remember we are cutting both front and back together so you cut the back first before you can cut out your front neckline so this is what we have now i'm going to fold my fabric to cut out the main fabric so this is my fabric this fabric is two and a half yards okay so i'm going to cut the front and back together so what i'm going to do on the yard area i'm going to first put it on fold into two like this you can see i'm, I'm folding it into two like this first so that i'll have to by the time i cut it out so after folding this into two i'm going to fold it on bias okay so it is folded into two first you can see this is one this is two so after folding it into two like this i'm going to go ahead and fold on bias before i place my paper so folding on bias is just like folding in form of a triangle i'm still going to show us with paper so what I simply did was to first fold my paper, my fabric into two like this. Then after folding into two, I'm going to fold in on bias like this. You can see like a triangle. So after that, I'm going to place my pattern towards the folded point here. You can see this side is open. This is the fold point which is here. So now I'll take my pattern and place the center fold of the pattern remember this is the center of the pattern this is where the hand hole is i'm going to place it here you can hold it with a pin or something and then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out so i have extra here after folding so i will still increase the width of my of my dress so that it can even give me more volume so here now i'm trying to pin it down then I'm going to add the extra two inches. Remember, I said this pattern is short of two inches from my actual dress length. So I'm going to add that extra two inches to it so that I'm not going to have any shortage, so that my dress will not be too short by the time I'm done. So I'm just trying to pin it so that it's not going to shift. So I've pinned it now. I'm going to go ahead. I cut the side first. So remember, I said I was going to increase the width of the side a little bit. So now I've increased it, and then I'm going to match it up with what I have here. Then here.
here i'm going to cut out my armhole so i want to use this armhole to i'm not using bias i just want to fold a little bit of the fabric inwards that's why i added this extra that you see so that's what i'm going to use to fold this you can also use your bias to fold the armhole so for the neckline we are going to cut the back first then after removing the back we are going to cut the front neckline as well so the neckline is done the ham hole and the side is done the next thing now is to cut the hem for the hem i'm adding extra two inches to the hem here so you can measure it <coughs> excuse me or you can eyeball it like i'm doing so i'm going to So on the side here, I just want this a little bit curved on the side. So I'm going to come up by around one to two inches, and then I'm going to curve it to meet the center, just like this. You can curve it as much as you want. I hope you saw that. What I did here, I came up a little bit, and then I just cut it and then curved. To meet up the center so that this side will just be shaped a little bit this was what i cut off from it you can see that so now i'm going to remove the pattern and then remove the back so that i can cut the front neckline as well so i've removed the back i'm going to place it again and then place my pattern on it for cutting the only difference between the front and back is just the neckline there is no other difference aside that just the neckline so now this is the neck so i'm going to go ahead now and cut the front alone you must have removed your back pattern from it okay so this is what we have now i'm going to go ahead and hem the hand fold for both front and back this is what it looks like this is the neckline for the front and this is the neck for the back you can see the back is higher than the front so here remember i added a little bit so i'll just fold tiny on both sides to hem the handhold then after that i'm going to sew the sides i'll place it on each other and then join it by the side then we're going to cut the collar okay so i've gone ahead to hem the arm um, here you can see I just folded it in twice you can also use your bias to aim it so i hem the whole side and after that i sew the two sides together so now the dress is together the only thing left to do is to fix the collar this is what the dress looks like this is the neckline area so now to fix the collar i have cut out a long strip of fabric depending on this color is going to be a tight color so it's going to be really long depending on how long you want it to be so i have cut mine out this is five inches in width and the length is up to you and how long you want it to be so what i'm going to do now is to try to not i'm going to be tying it to the side so it means the other side is going to be on the other side of my neck so I will notch the midpoint so that I can know the exact point that is supposed to be when I'm sewing. So this is the midpoint. I'm notching it. Okay. So after that, remember when I was measuring my neckline, I measured nine inches. Okay. I think I measured nine inches also. You can measure that. So whatever it is that you measured you are going to notch that part as well so that we can close up the other side so i'm making sure that 
I'm notching it on both sides because we are going to be placing it on food to form our color. So now this is where my color is going to stop. This is my midpoint. So by the time I open it up, I can clearly see that you can see where my notches are. So what I'm going to do now is to put this on fold and sew the rest. The rest that I have is what I'm going to use to tie the collar. So now I'm going to sew close this side and also this side. So I'll just be left with the area that I want to be my collar. Okay, so you can see I've gone ahead to sew it and then I stopped where the notches are. So you can see the only place open is where I'm going to sew to the neckline. So what you're going to do is to turn them to the right side. You can go ahead and iron it. But I don't want to iron this because I don't want to lose my pleats. So I'll just turn it on both sides so that it can be neat. And then I'll go ahead and sew the open part around my collar. I hope you understand that. So I'm turning the two sides of the of the tie, the excess that we're going to be using to tie it by the side. So after turning this, this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to sew to my neckline. So you need to choose the side that or those is yes you need to choose the side that you want to tie your collar towards so for me it's going to be towards the left side which is this okay this is the left side of my body this way i'm going to be tying it which means that this right side here is going to be completely closed so i'm just going to you can just hold them together with a little stitch or with your with your pin and then the midpoint that we notched which was here that's where the color is going to start from which is on the other side so after holding them together like this you are going to suspend them in between the color here and then you're going to sew around your neckline on both the front and the back or you can just start it from here and then sew all around so i'll do that and bring it back to show us so i have sewn the collar in you can see and this is the side my left side that i'm going to tie it to you can see this is the left side and your tie can be as long as you want like i said so then you open it at the back remember the hand mold is going to make you able to wear it then after wearing it you're just going to tie it so that you can have a complete neckline like this so this is the hand hole area you can see it is neat as well and i've also gone ahead to hem it from the lower part so this is what we have now i'm going to take it to the mannequin so that we can see what this looks like okay so this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see how flowy it is so it can be as big as you want depending on the measurement you use for your hem this is what the collar looks like so you tie the lock collar at the side and then it can be as long as you want you can increase the length to whatever it is you want this is the handful and this is what it looks like in general you can see how beautiful it is and how comfortable this is i hope you enjoy making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one